All right, this video is about converting between degrees and radians. Now we'll do an activity in class where you understand what a radian is, but this is a follow-up video to that so that you know how to convert if I give you a degree into a radian or vice versa if I give you a radian and I want it back in degrees. So it might not make a whole lot of sense today if you don't know what a radian is, but it should after we do that activity in class. All right, so converting degrees to radians, all right? Here's the thing, you're gonna multiply by pi over 180 because when we talked about with radians, this 180 degree place on our, on our graph is the same location as pi, so they are interchangeable. Pi is the radian, 180 is the degree, okay? So this is kind of like a um, unit of measure, like 12 inches equals one foot, okay? Unit of measure. This is what we use for radians to degrees, okay? So if I am converting from degrees to radians, I multiply by pi over 180. So I would simply take 45 and I multiply by pi over 180, and I would simplify as much as I can, okay? If I divided both of these terms by nine, I get 20, and this I'd get uh, five, right? 45 divided by nine is five. Well, five goes into 20, so if I divide by 5, I get a 1. Divided by 5, I get a 4. So what do I have? I really have pi over 4 radians. All right, look at number 2. 50 times pi over 180. All right, and let's see what I can reduce. I can reduce them both by 10. That would give me 5, so give me 18. There's no more reducing I can do by hand, so I just leave it as 5 pi over 18. Most of the time with radians, your answers will be in fractions. Okay, I'll give you an example of a decimal, but most of the time it's in fractions. But what if it's negative? So it's just negative 225 over 1 times pi over 180. All right, again, reduce it as much as you can. Okay, 225, if I divide both by 9... You can use your calculator to find this out. 225 divided by 9 is 25. And 180 divided by 9 is 20, right? I can keep reducing each of these by 5 and get 4 and 5. Now if I multiply across, I have negative 5 pi over 4. And that's what it would be in radians. Now what if it's a decimal, okay? When you convert, you multiply by a fraction of 1 over, or pi over 180. Okay, you do not want to mix decimals and fractions. That is a no-no, okay? So what would you do in this case? In this case, if they give you a decimal, you would put your answer in decimal form. So you would type this in your calculator just like it is, negative 72.47 pi divided by 180, and let it give you a decimal answer. So negative 1.265 radians, okay? So we will talk about where that lands in what quadrant later. But for just, just for you know, we don't mix the decimals and the fractions. So if they give me a decimal radiant, I put my answer in decimal radian form. What if it's switched? What if we have to convert from radians to degrees? Okay, well, if this is the case, I multiply by the reciprocal, which is 180 over pi. All right, so on example 5, negative 5 pi over 12, if I multiply it by 180 over pi, Guess what happens? The pi's cancel, and I can reduce like I did before. If I divide both of these terms by 6, I get 30 over 2, right? And 2 goes into 30 uh, 15 times. So I have 15 times 5, which is negative 75 degrees. Okay, now we're in degrees. What about on example 6 here? Again, I'm going to multiply by 180 over pi. Cancel the pi's out, and then I would multiply. And you would, you could put this in your calculator, and get, when you do degrees, you want your answer to be a whole number or a decimal. You don't want to leave this in a fraction. So we would put it in degrees, and we would get 128.57 degrees. All right, so you would type this in your calculator, 5 sevenths times 180. Number seven. Multiply by 180 over pi. Okay, notice it's trying to mix fractions and decimals on us again, but it's really simple. 
you're just going to put this in the calculator, 1.6 times 180 over pi, and when you do, you're going to get 91.67 degrees. Okay? So conversion factors. Know your conversion factors. Radians to degrees is pi, or 180 over pi. If it's degrees to radians, it's pi over 180. Have that in your notes, and hopefully you'll use it enough that you'll remember the conversion factor.